And hello everybody and welcome to the Iron Oil or your nationwide series race number four here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So we got Jacob Bud on the front row today. So should be a great one here today. As we'll skip to get the command to fire the engines here at Atlanta. On behalf of the many great folks at Bass Pro Shops, Tracker, and MBA. &A, Gentlemen, start your engines! Business as usual today, buddy. Hi, any of you. Your seat belt's a little stuck for me, buddy. You're ready to rock and roll. Let it be ready here now. Feel that thing out real good here for the first lap or so. Make sure you got a good feel for it. Young, then Gene Sanford, John Azela, Austin Ogo, Wyatt Morgan, and Zachary Buckeye. Now, your replacement driver of Dustin Ray in the 16. Board Eco Boost. Starting well towards the back today. Uh, he's still getting used to the car. This is his first tr uh, race of the season. So he's still getting used to the car and everything. But here we go. Green flag is out. We are underway here at Atlanta. Now, hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are going to see a pause. You're going to see it again. Okay, sorry about that. You see Jacob Budd and Dylan Young side by side down the back stretch. It'd be huge for Dylan to leave this lap as he would actually add a bonus point to his uh, point as he has a 33 point lead over Drew Austin as he has two wins and he will pick up where he left off last week and lead lap number one. A lot of great action though in this race. at this race in Atlanta. They're here for the Cup Series as well, and they're gonna go four wide. Oh boy, that was close. And now, who led this lap? It was John Azela. Now Wyatt Morgan in the 99 and Gene Sanford in the 01. They're going to be your leaders. And look at this, Drew Austin now to third. And he's going to try and lead a lap as he's going to try and get as close to Dylan Young in the points as possible this race. And they're going to go three, four wide for the lead almost. Gene Sanford out in front. Seth Cole goes to the inside. Now it's going to be G uh, Zach Wilson to the inside. They're going to be three wide for third. Gene Sanford and Wyatt Morgan. Going back to the line. It's going to be a photo finish. Wyatt Morgan. And they're going to be three wide once again. Seems like great racing here today. Great racing all through the field is Dustin Ray working his way up through the field. Like we said, he's, this is his first race in this season, and and we and these guys are in race four, so they're experienced with this car. So it's going to be interesting to see how Dustin Ray drives with the rest of these guys. But sooner or later, he'll be excuse me, he'll be an expert at this, like everybody else. But now we have had a we have a leader that is going to stay there for quite a bit, maybe, and that is Wyatt Morgan. And I spoke too soon. Gene Sanford's going to go to the lead, coming out of turn number one, I bet. But while they're battling, it's going to give these guys a shot to maybe try and uh, uh, catch up to them. Now there's the three. back to Wyatt Morgan in the 99 Toyota Camry. But Gene Sanford goes with the crossover and look at James Shelley. James Shelley's now battling for the lead between the three of them. 
And James has a huge run. He's going to go to the bottom because that is most likely the preferred line. And Gene Stanford led that lap by inches. Look at James Shelley getting a huge run. And now, look at this battle back here. Drew Austin back down from the inside. Dylan Schwallenberg back to or trying to get a top 10 in the season. But she's gotten one this season. And now him and Stephen Paul third are battling for a position. And that position is seventh. And now look at that. Henry Nova now battling for that. Henry is running triple duty like Steven and a few other guys in, in my series, Drew Austin, uh, I believe James Shelley, now it's Eugene and Max since he was your uh, cup drawing winner and Gene Sanford is your leader. These leaders, these guys are high up in the points have, been just, ah, have just been very consistent. And now look at the five and the six work together on the bottom. Maybe while well, Seth got la uh, 36th last week in uh, Las Vegas, so that dropped him down in the points. It dropped him from third all the way down to 19th. So he's definitely wanting to get a good run here today. As Eugene to Max, speaking of him, he's gonna go to second. But no one has caught Gene Sanford. Let's go through the rest of the field here. Still haven't seen a wreck, and look at Dustin Ray. He's worked his way up to the mid-pack of the 30s. See, like we said, he's trying his best. Trying to ask a lot for a for a guy who like him who's in his first race and look at Dylan Young starting third by lap 13 he went back to last and that's helping some of these guys that are way back in the points but Seth Cole moves to third Drew Austin back down to sixth here three different manufacturers in the top three we got Chevy. Toyota and Ford. And Seth has the faster car over Eugene to Max in that 77. But actually Seth has the fastest car of all three of them. Look at Dylan Schwallenberg. He's going to go to fourth, but James Shelley's uh, going to take that, actually. Schwallenberg, I don't know what he's doing. He might want to move down to the bottom, you know. But now Drew Austin is falling back a little bit, but he's still battling. I think he should just fall back and just stay down on the inside so he doesn't lose a lot of positions. Zach Wilson sneak his way in there. Sorry about that. And there's this. There's the um, position change. Seth Cole going to second. Now, all he needs to do is catch Gene Sanford. Take it on board. <laughs>
haven't seen a wreck yet. Oh, look at Drew Austin. He is now up to seven. Or I believe sixth. Never mind. Nope, never mind. Oh, yep, sixth. But that's gonna hope that might be taken by Kyle Rock, maybe. Oh boy, Charles Belding just used the inside to his advantage right there. As Seth Cole really had nowhere to go with James Shelley on the on the low side of him, so he's just like, Boop, let's go to the bottom, guys. That's what he did, and no one is catching the old one of Gene Sanford. This is the main guy we want to look at. Second in points, wanting to get another great run like he has been all season. And Dylan Young is actually in danger of um, losing his streak of three straight top five and top tens. He needs a huge wreck in the front, or he just needs to just blow by everybody, which he's sort of doing it right now. He's doing a great job trying to move his way back up to this pack, and I think he might just have enough time to get a top five. But Gene Sanford and James Shelley have broken away a little bit from the pack, but Seth Cole is not giving up neither of the rest of this field. Now they're all running single file up to around right here. Oh, wow. That looked like Drew Austin might have gotten, like, served. <laughs> but Steven, we talked about him. He has a top five and top ten this season. And he's running in trucks, he's running in cup, he's running in nationwide. He's all over the place. <laughs> and will Dylan Young get back to the front before time runs out? It's another big thing we're, we're going to talk about, too. Drew Austin holding his top tens, though. He's probably going to get a fourth this season at, or for the fourth. Because he's going to go to the inside. He's going to try and take fifth away from the rest of these guys. But Seth Cole moves or stays at third, and he looks like he might be falling back a little bit. Mm. Oops. Okay. No, I'm not doing. <laughs> Zachary Buckeye is the fastest with a 27.515. If we all get a caution, James Shelley is the only one who can compete with Gene Sanford. A fast car all day. Dylan Young's not going to have a great run today after starting third. He, if he keeps this up, I think what it is, he might have really worn tires. You see right there, he went all the way down to 170. I think a late pit stop would be really good for this, for any of these guys who are in the back and need maybe a chance to get back in the top 10. Oh, oh, and Gene Sanford's pitting! Caution is out, I think. No! Pit stops are being made! Oh, man, they could not make it on field. And Charles Belding is your leader. Stevens in second, William Duncan third. Are they maybe conserving that fuel? We have a lot of other guys coming in, too. We got James Shelley, Eugene DeMax, Connor Smith. Tyler Rock, uh, Joe Davis, Austin Ogo, and Seth Cole. 
Gene Sanford getting back up track. Who else is pitting? All these other guys. Wow. That is total shock. Is everyone going to be okay? Oh, that was close. A lot of people are pitting this time around. But I don't know. Right now, your leader is supposedly yes it is Travis Froster I think he went away from the pack a little too far and I think he did that the right way he's gonna come into pit road in a perfect time he's gonna be pitting with these leaders too Let's see if pit road is gonna be bunched up no but Atlanta is that one track and Joe David oh never mind never mind fail and everybody's coming out Oh, Dylan Young and Dylan Schwallenberg just banged each other right there. Shut up, man. Ah, that's not what I meant. No. God dang it. I don't mean to say that. They hit each other. And Dylan is slow. Bad damage. But look, to be honest, he has a huge run on him. But who is your leader? They say it is Travis Froster still. I don't know. It's not Travis Froster. I think it is James Shelley. Yes. When they come back around, it is going to be James Shelley as your leader. James Shelley is your leader. Gene Sanford, I think, pit way too early. Yes. Two to go. James Shelley. 1.62 seconds ahead. And they're really slow for whatever reason. They they just got fuel, but I think they're trying to save their tires till the end. But James Shelley does not need to worry. He has got this in the bag and Zach Danford stuck on pit road. And Dylan Young is not gonna get that top ten he wanted. And he's way, way in the back. Running 35th. He's really slow. He's off pace. I think after that hit he took. But here we go. We're coming out of the final turn. The winner of this race here in Atlanta is going to be James Shelley. Charles Belding comes up second. Gene Sanford, after leading all those laps today, comes up third. Seth Cole comes up fourth. He came up short. Uh, Eugene and Max still get the top five for today. Drew Austin still keeps those top tens. He ran eighth today, so he's going to have four top tens. All, he's had all top tens all season, so it's been consistent as he's trying to redo what he did in the Cup Series last season. And that is almost win the championship. But uh, here's your official results. As we had a great race today. Uh, looking for co-commentators, I think. Maybe looking for some new co-commentators. So message me on uh, PM me on YouTube if you want. Maybe you want to co-commentate. And I will see you guys later. Here are your points after the race. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in Kansas.